Hello, and welcome to another episode of FeatherCast. My name is Rich Bowen, and today I'm speaking with Pablo Estrada, who is involved in producing the BEAM Summit, which is going to be next month in Austin, Texas, at the AT&T Conference Center. And that'll be July 18 through 20th. So I wanted to get all that important information up front here. But uh, thanks for joining me today, Pablo. Uh, thanks for having me, Rich. Yeah, it's uh, it's really nice to be on, on FeatherCast. Now, Apache Beam is not really a new project, but uh, for the sake of the, the few of our listeners who are not familiar with it, can you give us a brief overview of what the project is? Yeah, so, um, so Apache Beam is a library uh, or a set of libraries to... Um, to write data processing pipelines. Uh, and so, you know, the project started in, in 2016 and it was, it was designed to try to, um, to build a model, a generalized model to write data processing pipelines for batch workloads, meaning, you know, your nightly job that does the processing of um, of your of your daily clickstream data, or uh, or a streaming job as well, where you might be analyzing data that is coming in continuously, um, and so you'll you'll write these pipelines where you define you define a, a series of operations that you can apply to your data, um, and then you you can write it out to you know your your data storage of choice, um, and yeah, so. That's generally what, what Beam allows you to do. My understanding is that uh, it's typically used in conjunction with one or more other projects that are actually providing this data. And some of those are Apache projects, but some of them are not. What, what, uh, what, kind, what projects do you typically see used in conjunction with Beam? Given that Beam is, is uh, a library and provides this model, um, Beam also... Uh, it's able beam pipelines are able to be executed on top of what we call a runner and so in this case uh, runners are usually data processing engines so for example uh, spark flink which are apache projects uh, there's their um, runners for beam so you can write your beam uh, pipeline and you can execute it on your on your spark cluster on your Flink cluster I work for Google. We also have a, a cloud-based runner uh, called Cloud Dataflow, and uh, and yes, yeah, so th there's there's several projects that have written runners for Beam. Uh, you know, these three that I mentioned are the the biggest ones, but you know, there's there's others like um, um, Hazelcast Jet, and there's uh, Apache Nemo, and um, Apache Zamsa, etc. There's there's several communities that have integrated with with Beam. All right. So getting back to the main purpose that that we're here to talk about, um, Beam Summit. Tell me a little bit about who should attend this conference and what they should expect to find there. We're we're very excited because it's the first year that we're able to do it in in person again uh, after you know two years of having online only events. Um, and so who should attend? I think if you're, if you're interested in, in data processing, um, it's definitely worth considering. And if, if you're a user of Beam, um, I would say it would, it would be great to have you there. And, uh, uh, you know, there's, there will be several speakers showing their use cases and, um, people working on Beam showing new features. Um, so it is, you know, I'm, I'm very excited. I think it's going to be really fun and really interesting. So it looks like you've got three days of content and each day you're running three tracks. Um, so it's, it's a lot of sessions, but, uh, if you were to pick out a few highlights, um, that, that you're excited to see, what would those be? So our keynotes are, um, we're going to have people from the Bing community speaking about new features. We're going to have, uh, some of the largest users of Beam that I that I know. So there's going to be uh, people from Spotify, people from Twitter, uh, people from Palo Alto Networks uh, talking about their use cases. They all have very interesting, very particular uh, 
needs. And so they'll talk about how they, they scale some of their beam jobs to super, super high scale. Um, and some of them are managing huge fleets of jobs themselves. So that's also interesting. Um, particular talks that I have in mind, well, there's, uh, we're adding uh, capabilities to run um, machine learning inference on, on your beam jobs. So that'll be interesting. Um, where we have uh, talks from several users, uh, uh, things that come to mind. We have uh, uh, people from Intuit, uh, people from from Wayfair, people from from many different companies with lots of very inter interesting use cases. So I'm I'm very excited about all of that. Oh, one more thing. We also have. Uh, the, our Go SDK. Um, so Beam has a Java, a Python, and a Go SDK, uh, along with also SQL support. Anyway, our Go SDK has, uh, you know, progressed significantly. So we, we also have a lot of updates related to that. Looking forward to, uh, to hearing reports from the event. Um, if somebody wants to find out more about the event and also about Beam, where should they go look? Uh, you can go to beam.apache.org. Um, that's where you'll you'll find a link to the event at the very top. And you can also find all sorts of information about Beam itself. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. And uh, it's, it's a real privilege to help you get the word out. And we hope you have a, a marvelous event. Well, thanks so much, Rich. I'm, I'm grateful that you gave us the space to talk about it.